What's up, guys? Yeah, I'm freaking Pelt here, and um, we have a review of the Mini Mates Action Figure Express Exclusive New York Comic Con Deadpool Core Four Pack of Mini Mates, and this is special because it's the first time I'm doing Mini Mates, and Deadpool is probably my favorite character in both Marvel and DC comics, and even the um, Image Dark Horse crap like that. Um, before we get to the review, I just wanna, you know. Show off Lobes again. This, I call him Lobes. You know what? Lobes is going to be the, uh, yeah, Lobes is the mascot from now on. He's the mascot of ERM Pelt. We got Lobes here. As far as I know, Lobes is the, uh, yeah, he's going to be the mascot from now on. So, yeah, look forward to Lobes. He's going to be in the background of every video starting this one. And I brought him out today because Mini Mate Review, and these are his brothers. And not really, but, yeah, um, I'm going to be, uh, so, Really awesome mini mate. If you can pick him up, go ahead. He's badass. So you just you just stand back there, at Lobes. All right. So yeah, so we're gonna be doing this a little differently because there this is a four pack, and I'm gonna be reviewing each one of these separately. So if you want to see the kid pool but not the champion pool or champion pool, or you want to see the lady in the pool but not regular Deadpool, then you're more than welcome to. But I'm gonna be doing them separately. So first, let's take a look at the packaging. I'm only gonna go over the packaging ones because you know it's gonna be the same. So on the bottom it says Deadpool Core. Uh, there it says New York Comic Con. It says name Deadpool Champion Pool. We have Kid Pool and Lady Deadpool. Up top we get nice. I love that picture of Spidey, and we have Deadpool Mini Mate head taped over Spidey's head, and Mini Mates. And on the side we have picture of um Deadpool, Champion Pool, Champion Pool, Kid Pool, and Lady Deadpool. Same thing on the side. And on the back, we get a picture of him, and we get little read-ups. Today, we're going to be looking at Deadpool, and we'll even look at Headpool, because, yeah. So, on Deadpool's read-up, it says, Wade Wilson, the merc with a mouth, is good at three things. Violence, not dying, and being a bit funny in the head. Or just all around funny. It doesn't say that, but you know I'm paraphrasing. So, so when he was found to be the only one immune to the consciousness... What, what? Consciousness destroying awareness. He had to team up with his alternate reality counterparts to form the Deadpool Core. So, yeah. I just read that like a total douche. But, you know, it's alright. So, here we got a nice picture of Deadpool in the background. And we have Headpool. And I'm not going to rip open the packaging or anything. I, I carefully uh, cut the tape. And it's actually taped again. So, I'm going to tape the tape off. And we're going to review Deadpool. And, you know what? I'm going to just unbox this right here. So, I'm just pushing. Oh, I don't want to hit this. All right, we have anything sharp here? Oh, where's my knife? Oh, I'll be right back. I'm still talking to you guys. I don't know if you guys can hear me. I'm still yelling. I'm still yelling. I'm watching Ant Farm. Just kidding. All right, let's do this review. All right, so, knife. Extend. Lobes, are you ready? Mm-hmm. All right, I don't know why the hell Lobes is a badass character. I'm going to need all, like, weak and stuff. But it's alright, so yeah, we get this thing open, and we just open this flab, pull out the tray, and it does come with, alright, first let's take a look at the figures inside, we have Deadpool, you, you know what, I'm going to do this off my light, we have Deadpool, who we, will re who we will be reviewing, and yeah, the other figures, and we got some accessories, and Headpool, who will also be reviewing, before we take a look at that though, I'm just going to open this. You guys hear me breathing in the camera? And here we have a look at the um, Series 40 Minimates. And Captain America First Avenger Minimates. And here we have a look at Spider-Man uh, Birthday Blues. And you can probably skip ahead a couple minutes because yeah, I'm going to read this for anyone who wants to read this. Um, it says... Just another day in the life of your friendly neighborhood Spider-Man. It's my it's my birthday, and what do I get for a gift? Just another Spidey's a Menace editorial from the old J. Jonah Jameson. Oh well, at least I've got my reliable supervillains to take off to take my mind off of it. And of course, on the bottom we have Doc Ock and uh, the Robin Electronics Store. We got Green Goblin also going on there, so you know, pretty cool. 
And we have a picture of Spidey just poking his head in. And up top, we got a picture of Spidey swinging. And it says, look, it's a thrilling third. It's a thrilling third of the Ultimate Six. Hey, Dr. Octopus and Green Goblin, how about you return those stolen goods to that store and I will kick you to next Tuesday. And, you know, that obviously wants to say, and I won't kick your ass. Um, what stolen goods? This is for nothing, none of your business, spider twerp. And then that says, of course, spider douche. Um, yeah, so over here we have a picture of Spidey Roundhouse kicking the asses out of, uh, kicking, Roundhouse kicking the, uh, green off of Green Goblin. And it says, suit, suit yourself. What? Suit yourself. Say hello to next Tuesday for me. And, uh, yeah, he's kicking his ass. And then, uh, he, Green Goblin's like, irk. Because, you know, you don't go ow when you get kicked. You don't go, ugh. You go, irk. And, uh, in the bottom it says, no. No, oh, wait, not next Tuesday. I have a dentist appointment. Oh, that biatch. And it says, no. And shortly after, we get Firestar and Iceman. Hey, it's Firestar and Iceman, my amazing friends. I just kind of said that. God, look at how pissed. I don't know if how pissed you can see Iceman is, but he looks pretty pissed. He's like, oh, this douche. Anyway, and, and it says, uh, Firestar saying, I told him to stop calling us that. I told him to stop calling us that. And, uh, Iceman's like, shush. Just pretend you don't see him. And Spidey's like, hey guys, down for a team up? And Firestar's like, sorry Spidey, we've got, uh, important mutant stuff to do. Yeah, you got important mutant stuff to do, and that important mutant, that important, that important mutant stuff that she needs to do is him. Yeah. So, we'll hang out another time. Now, buzz off, buddy. You're gonna have to make me, and it says, continued online. So, yeah, we got a crappy-ass comic here. But, on the back, we get a nice picture of the ultimate, uh, mini, uh, blah, blah, blah. we get Mini Mates 41. And, you know, it's not that, pretty cool figures. And we get this awesome picture of the Mini Mates. And I think this picture is totally badass. And it's really cool. So, yeah, now... Get to the reviewing segment after all. This is a uh, review channel, I think. But yeah, there's lobes again. Alright, let's take out DP. And on the tray, it's gonna open this first. It's kind of like a tab. You just, well, kind of like another tray, and you take it off. And then you just pop out the figures. So here's Mini Mates Deadpool. Here's Mini Mates Headpool. And you know what, we'll, we'll, we'll give Deadpool some guns, take these guns out. The, wait, there was two of these guns. There was, there was two of them, what the hell? What? Hold on, let me see something. I am missing a gun. Go figure, right? During the middle of the review, I'm missing a gun. And it kind of pisses me off. Oh, oh, I just found it, I just found it. Alright, so, yeah, we have the two guns here. And I'm not missing them, so we'll just kind of review Deadpool with those two guns. So, let's get, get the camera down a little bit. And, yeah, here we see Deadpool. He's an awesome, badass little mini-mate figure. I just gotta agree. Uh, I, I gotta say that he is badass. Um, the, I opened him before, and the only complaint that I really have with him is that this foot falls out easy, but it's a mini-mate, you know, stuff like that's gonna happen. And wait, let me see how, how it is with this foot switch. Yeah, and I think it's just this tab, because this foot's perfectly fine on this side, but it's not meant to go on that side. I think it's just the uh, the peg that goes into the tab. I think it's just, like, small or something or deformed, because it does not want to stay in there at all. But, you know, for the sake of this review, let's, let's just persevere. Uh, I'll probably end up switching the legs with someone else, just because they're the same exact legs, you know? So yeah, the Deadpool figure, awesome, awesome detail. We have the face, and if, of course it's just like your mini mates standard buck, but it is awesome. I love Deadpool, and uh, this mini mate of Deadpool is just badass. I'm so freaking pissed that I didn't get the uh, Dante Deadpool two pack. Um, I'm a big fan of Dante, and uh, 
whole Devil May Cry series, and I'm a big fan of Deadpool. So I'm pissed that I didn't get that, and now I can't find it for crap. So here he is, though. But this is Mini Mates Deadpool. And, uh, yeah. So, articulation first. Head is on a ball joint, so it can't really look up and down, but it can rotate. That's pretty good. Arms are on a ball joint. They can go out about that far. Bend at the elbow. Rotate at the wrist. He does rotate at the waist. Legs can go up. They can go back. They can go out. They can bend at the knee and rotate at the, um, uh, what the hell is this called? The foot. So, yeah, let me just bring down the camera a little bit more. Ah, hot, hot, that was count. All right, no. So, here he is, and here's Deadpool in all of his glory, and he is a badass minifigure. And he does come with, just, all right, pop off his head, take this off, put the head back on. You see, it is just your basic mini mate buck. Nothing too special about it. And the head sits kind of rather loose on it. So this probably helps. And his uh, little uh, thingamajigger with those holsters, uh, the sheaths or sheaths for the swords, sits on it. And it doesn't look like the swords are long enough to hit the back, which is pretty good. I, I don't mind that because I don't want them bending or anything. So yeah, we, and then uh, it's kind of bland on the body. No muscle. Oh, that would be why. So, yeah, the body is pretty, pretty detailed. He even, he's even got the uh, little Deadpool logo on the belt. And that's just pretty badass. So, pop off the head. Place the armor back on. Pop the head back on. Much like Masters of the Universe. Much like Masters of the Universe classics. Um, and you can actually take out swords. I get scared every time I take out a sword. Bad, st uh, it's a scary story. And Super Spartan, you think you know what I'm talking about. But yeah, these swords go in his hand pretty good. The only problem that I really have with Mini Mates weapons is that they're super thin just to fit in their hands. And I know that it's just because they need to fit in their hands, but uh, it's kind of like bugging me. Like even Loeb's Lobe, uh, hook, it's kind of flattened, but I don't really mind it. So yeah, swords, he holds them pretty good. Get them in some good sword poses. Be like, oh... And, uh, yeah, badass mini mate, put the sword back in. They are brown, the holsters, uh, these sheaths are brown. And the swords are metallic paint with a brown handle. So, yeah, um, the guns, that looks like your standard, uh, damn it, what the hell is this called? Oh, I, I get these guns with G.I. Joe's and Korra uh, figures all the time, and... I just can't, for the life of me, remember what it's called. But, yeah, it does go in his hand, and the handle's a little thick, and it kind of opens up the hand. I don't know if you can see this very well, but it opens up the hand when you put the gun in. And so, that's, so what the hell did I just do? Well, I don't know if that's supposed to happen, but if it does, then I just discovered something. Apparently, the uh, sheaths come off. I'm probably going to glue that. Oh, oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Um, I don't know if that was supposed to happen. I'll probably end up... Well, no, because I'm not really going to display him. I'm going to put him back in the box. So, yeah, there he is. Um, awesome figure. If you can get a Mini Mates, I'd probably get the Mini Mates that came with the Wolverine. Then I'd go for the Mini Mates that came with the... If you want a Mini Mate Deadpool, go for the Mini Mate Deadpool that came with the Wolverine. Then go for the Dante, the one that came with the Dante. And I, I want that set so freaking bad. It's not even... F Wait, was it Dante or Nero? I believe it was Dante. Um... I want that set really freaking bad. It's it's not even funny. But uh and if if worst comes to worst, get this set. If if you're just if you're looking for all these guys, it's probably the only way you're gonna find them. But if you're just looking for Deadpool, get the, try those two sets first. But you can find this for rather cheap, it's around twenty bucks. <coughs> and twenty bucks is like that Disney I see these score packs are going for around the pretty similar price. So yeah. It's not too bad, it's not too steep, but awesome mini mate, and we're going to take a look at now head pool. Head pool, of course, is just your basic mini mate head, but an awesome mini mate head, because he's got that little ripped, the camera will focus on this, kind of pisses me off, but yeah, it's a, uh, can, I, can I zoom in on this? I can zoom in, sweet. Sorry, I'm discovering. So yeah, the, um, the head, my camera will pick this up. Is very, very well sculpted. It's just like your basic Deadpool head. 
but it has the ripped bottom part of the mask where his jaw is exposed, and he's screaming, and this is the zombie version of Deadpool where he's just ahead, and his little propeller from the beanie can spin and also can be removed, and it's kind of a pain in the ass to put back in, and you can do one of two things, well, let me zoom out really quick, and you can do one of two things with the head, I discovered this while taking this out the first time, um, this is what I actually did, I actually took off the head from this, put the head pool head on, and you can have yourself, that wants to go in, I think it does, but you know, you can have yourself an unmasked Deadpool, or a zombie version of Deadpool, and I think that's pretty, that's pretty sick, pop that head off, pop the mini mate, the real head back in, and of course the angle came off, so yeah, this is, this is an awesome set, if you want to pay 20 bucks for this, then go ahead, if you're just looking for the Deadpool mini mate, see if you can buy him by himself, or see if you can buy him with the Wolverine. I think he came with the Wolverine. I'm not 100% sure on that. And I think he came with Dante. If it was Dante in Marvel vs. Capcom 3 and not Nero. Uh, but, yeah, I'm sorry, guys. Um, I'm just... But I wouldn't advise taking the propeller out of the mini mate head. Because it is kind of a pain in the ass to put back in. Hold on. Oh, I got this. I got this. I got this. Got this. I got this. I got this. I don't want to break it. Oh, son of a bitch. Alright, alright, don't worry, 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 we're gonna get through this together, gonna get through this together, oh shit, oh, I think I did something, I definitely did something, alright, it is a real pain in the ass just to put back in, ugh, look at that, I just bent the propellers, and it doesn't bother me too much, because, you know, you're not even going to see him, because he's kind of hidden in the box, but, I want to see the dog, um, uh, dog pool, I think it is, or whatever, but he na he nicknamed all these guys, I think he called, like, uh, Lady Deadpool, like, Boobs or Babs or something like that, or, um, and Kid Deadpool named him, like, Tito or Taco, or, it was just, it was really funny, and, uh, yeah, so, I'm going to go off camera, put the thing back on. And this is how he would be displayed, so you can have him kind of floating around, much like the Masters Universe Classics, uh, Shadow Weaver. Just like the Shadow Weaver has kind of a display base, a clear display base. And so, yeah, here is, uh, Loeb's again telling you, if you want a Deadpool set, go buy the Dante Deadpool 2-pack or the Wolverine Deadpool 2-pack if you want all these figures and spend the extra money for them. That, that's my Lobo voice, because, you know, I, I can't talk like this or anything. Yeah. Alright, this is Yarvin Bell and the Lobster, and we're telling you to go freaking sub, and yeah!